Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. EDC gear myths debunked. Save money, save time. Some things that you do and don't need. Some things I don't spend money on, and it saves me money. I'm not saying that you need to do the exact same thing. What I'm saying is that a lot of stuff within everyday carry nowadays, people are doing it organically. And I'm not 100% sure that it is needed. It could save you money if you found different ways against it, etc., etc. The first one is pretty easy to explain. And that's going to be necessarily always getting the latest and greatest cell phone. I got to give mine a little wipe down because, listen, this is how mistaken I am when it comes to some of my gear. For the longest time, I thought that my work phone, you know, was an, an iPhone 13. And lo and behold, it's actually an iPhone uh, it's an iPhone 12. This thing here is still pertinent. It gets the job done. And I don't know what things are missing out of this one other than necessarily having maybe, uh, some of the, a better battery life of an iPhone 15 or something like that. But this iPhone 12 is still getting the job done. So I guess technically I'm what three generations behind or something like that. And a lot of folks will find themselves feeling like that is a miss. It's it's something that you need to upgrade, you need to update. And that even kind of goes along with like my main phone, which is a Google Pixel 7. I kind of like to just skip generation phones and, and just kind of spend my money elsewhere. Now, I am not saying that if you spend your money on the latest and greatest everything for your EDC when it comes to tech, you're wasting your money. It's not a waste. But don't feel influenced that you have to do that. It's not a necess necessity whatsoever. And that kind of brings me to my second item. I'm actually using it to wipe down this iPhone 12 as we speak, is you do not need an over-the-top dedicated handkerchief. First off, you don't need a dedicated handkerchief at all for your everyday carry. You can participate in the community of everyday carry. I know you see the fantastic photos on Instagram, Twitter, high class, high quality handkerchiefs you don't need one but if you decide to have a dedicated handkerchief you definitely don't have to spend a lot of money on one hank now i am blessed to have some high quality hanks from awesome hanks i have several shout out to them for sending these out in the past but but for you sending these out to me in the past awesome hank i will be real with you it's it's a low likelihood that i would actually purchase these you will not believe the power of a microfiber cloth when you could get instead of spending 25 dollars on one of these you can spend 10 bucks and get, you know, 15 to 20 of these, depending on if you get them at Harbor Freight, get them on some type of sale on Amazon. And these are machine washable. And I use these things all the time. You would not believe the power of a bandana. OK, so you can just use a simple pan, a bandana or even a, a pack of tissues, Kleenex, whatever brand that you want to use. Those can be effective as well. What are you using them for? Wiping down your electronics, wiping down your knives. If you gunk them up with tape, maybe wiping your kids faces or whatever the case may be. So I would argue to say that microfiber cloths and bandanas are more versatile than a dedicated handkerchief because you can use a, this type of stuff for sweat, spills faces and your EDC stuff, which is cleaning that type of stuff every single day, which is something I know that you grossly and absolutely care about. So I save money by buying the lesser item instead of buying the known item. All right. So the next one is an item of category of stuff that I poo-poo plenty of times in the past. This has to do with a high quality or an over the top pry bar. If for so whatever reason you decide you need a pry bar in your EDC, which I don't think that you do, but let's just say you do. It doesn't have to be overly fancy. This is one from Daily Carry Co. It's probably complete overkill. Made of titanium. Has a bottle cap lifter in here. It's a pry bar function. But I think that if you're going to spend the money on something like that, I've seen the ones from, you know, uh, Vero and all these other name brand ones. And if I'm mispronouncing those, then that's because, you know, I don't know about them overall. If you're going to spend the type of money, get something that has a lot of functionality to it. This is a pry bar from Detonation Technology. They actually call this a digging knife. This one specifically has pry functionality, but it also has a small blade here that you can sharpen and hone if you needed to to make it even sharper. It's a digging edge. so You can use this to dig up dirt. Has a nice handle. It's very ergonomic. So it's really, really easy to use this overall. It comes with a nice sheath or whatever. You don't need a high over the top pry bar to get your everyday needs done i want you to really think like when was the last time you used a pry bar for nail pulling for prying apart maybe the steel liners on a knife you're trying to take apart maybe you're trying to actually pry something open i don't see other than you using the actual 
slotted side of these things for screws. You're not using these very often. EDC myth, debunk, you don't need an expensive pry bar to be within the EDC community. That brings us to the next items. I save money on this entire category of items by not spending any money on them. So I kind of give you some alternatives for the first three items where I do spend some money, I just don't spend as much, or even if I spend more, it's for something that I think has a lot of value, which comes up in the next categories. I don't think any of these have any value. Okay, I think that these bring you joy, but if they don't bring you joy, you don't need to spend money on REs or Ranger Eyes or lanyards or beads. Okay, if these things bring you joy, spend the money. But it, it is not a requirement to be within the everyday carry community to have Ranger Eyes, patches, lanyards, or beads. I don't even have any lanyards up here, but I put all these in the same category. These are all extra to-dos. Now, there are some arguments to say that beads could be useful. If you have a knife that's hard to pull out of your pocket, you connect this with a lanyard. Maybe that knife gets a little bit easier to pull out of your pocket or a pry bar or whatever. But if you're just throwing this on every single one of your items for aesthetics and you don't actually think the aesthetics are for you, don't effing buy it. I, I cannot believe how many people have hit me up and said, X, I was thinking about doing this or doing that. I'm getting into everyday carry. What's up with this bead and RE thing? And I'm like, you tell me what's up with it because I don't have it. <laughs> I don't participate in it because I just don't see the need for it. So everything that you, every RE you have ever seen me have, have all been gifted to me, every single one. So, you know, to include the beads, every bead that I've had has been either gifted to me or included on a knife. I even had beads and lanyards that were on a knife when I unboxed it and I took it off. My tactile knife, bare it had a lanyard and a bead on it. I since took it off. So you don't need that in the EDC community. It's it's kind of debunked. It's not needed whatsoever. The next one has to do with an ultra powerful or super powerful high tech flashlight. You don't need it. OK, so I'll give you some examples of some reviews you may see on the Internet and on the YouTube universities. This is the Ace Beam Terminator M1. Fantastic flashlight, $249, complete overkill. You probably can get away with a very much simpler model. 21700 battery inside, all sorts of modes, a spot beam, a flood beam, big and hefty. You can use this for, it's a, it's a great flashlight. You don't need a high-tech flashlight, okay? You don't even need to spend the extra money on a flashlight that's not necessarily high-tech, but it does have features on it that are completely useless. This is the Ace Beam pocket AA flashlight. So they, they call it the pocket light AA flashlight, meaning that it comes with a rechargeable battery, rechargeable AA battery. And you can also pop your own AA battery in it if you were ever to be running low and you're out and about or whatever. This one's titanium. This is their 10th anniversary edition. This one's over the top. Okay. It's nice. You don't need a titanium flashlight. They're pushing those things hardcore nowadays. And then if you look at the very similar Olight, this is the i5R EOS. This definitely costs much less than the Pocket Light titanium version, and you're getting basically the same amount of features. I, I would say that comparison to compar comparison, you're getting about the same representation for Max Lumens because they're both using uh, rechargeable batteries. The Pocket Clips are super similar. You're not getting anything up on that. You're only getting a smaller size with the titanium version. But the point is, is you probably can get away with a nice keychain flashlight, something very simple. Doesn't need to be over the top. If you're ex now, if you're exploring like abandoned buildings, you're a security guard, then, yeah, you're going to want an over the top, something like that flashlight that makes a lot of sense. You want a searchlight in your pocket. If you're that guy that's doing search stuff, if you're in rescue missions and et cetera, et cetera. However, if you are illuminating the doorknob or the door lock as you're entering your house at night, if you're finding stuff underneath your couch, if you are basically trying to be the hero of the day as you're able to illuminate a path in a movie theater or from your building to your car, this is all you need. You don't need the fancy over the top stuff. It's going to be a OK. The last one has to do with something that I tend to spend the money on, which is a fancy watch now this is the ben Roos. this is the type 1c this is a 1500 dollars watch you do not need a fancy watch it's a great accessory it can be a status symbol it can be reliable etc etc but if you're getting into the everyday carry community you don't need anything like this you can get something simple like a timex scout you can just use your phone 
as much as I say, get away from smartphones and or not smartphones, but smart watches and et cetera, et cetera. You could probably get a three or four year removed smartwatch, whether it's an Apple watch, an older Apple watch, an older Samsung or a tick watch or whatever, and save yourself quite a bit of money. You don't need the latest and greatest just to be within the everyday carry community. I've done plenty of reviews on watches and I will say these bring me joy. That's why I'm OK with dishing out the money for these. But is the myth saying that if you don't have this, you're not doing EDC correctly, then you've been gotten by the myth because that's no such thing to actually make this stuff happen. Remember, everyday care is about what works for you. It's not necessarily how to fit yourself into a category of needs. Being smart about your everyday care can save you money. You can still stay stylish, spend the money where you want to instead of just spending money where you think you have to, those are debunked. You don't need that type of stuff. Comment down below what everyday carry items are overrated or you spend money on them, but you find different ways to save some bucks. I didn't mention multi-tools. I didn't mention knives. Those are easy, low-hanging fruit. I didn't even mention types of materials such as titanium versus carbon fiber or whatever, whatever. These are items I'm seeing more and more people are kind of pushing for you to go above and beyond. And if you want to go above and beyond, then do it. I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but there's not a thing that must must be done in any of these categories. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure to stay prepared and carry exactly what you need and maybe a couple of things of what you want. But don't be forced to carry things that you absolutely don't want or need. If this is not your first time stopping by, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.